three-term Hamden Mayor Scott Johnson is a lifelong Hamden resident. He was raised in Hamden and chose Hamden as the place to raise his family. He has faced a tough road and came out ahead in helping to resurrect the failed city health and pension structures, which are some of the most troubling issues of this era. His multipartisan approach even engendered respect in the form of public praise from his last opponent. Lou Panzo, town Democratic chairman, said Jackson's victory was a victory for the town. It just shows that people have confidence in Scott. The mayor has done an admirable job for the last four years here, said Panzo. It was one of the cleanest campaigns I've ever seen in the town of Hamden. He just ran on issues. Tony Harp is New Haven's 50th mayor. She takes an upbeat and positive approach as she faces the major themes of health care, education, crime reduction, and job creation. Harp said of those who make bad decisions, there but for the grace of a loving parent, inspiring teacher, caring member of the clergy, or someone else who got involved, could be virtually any one of us. Adds Harp, no first grade student, when asked what he or she wants to be when grown up, answers, embezzler, drug dealer, or murderer. I'm confident the vast majority of those who commit crimes do so from desperation, not as a career destination. Each of those people has a story, no matter how heinous or deplorable a crime might be. She embraces her role with vigor. Mayors own the city, and the city owns the mayor, Governor Malloy told her as she begins her two-year term. To which Harp replied, I know that New Haven is prepared for Tony Harp, and I know that Tony Harp is prepared for New Haven. <laughs>